Hey everybody Ann here, sitting here outside having my coffee with all of you, watching my beautiful chickens. And yep, Miss Pris Fancy Pants is still sitting on those eggs, so I've made some scrambled eggs for her and the baby chicks. Uh, once all the other hens lay their eggs, I'm going to let them free range, and I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. But I'm going to give them some scrambled eggs and take some back there for Miss Pris. But look at that cucumber plant and the bush beans, they're growing so good. Anyhow, I have a... Uh, two things I want to try and get done today. Move the refrigerator inside and to do that I've got to move around a bunch of stuff. I've got to change the solar around, um, get it unloaded, get inside, reload it because I'm going to have that one running off the house battery and I'm going to start getting ice too because eventually it's going to get really hard to keep that refrigerator going um, Well, because solar is ineffective when it gets really hot outside. Uh, so I'll be getting ice. I've got that ice chest, but it's filled with canned goods right now, so I've got to find a place for them. Um, so I want to get the refrigerator inside, and I want to start building a chicken coop. So I'm going to go see if I can pick up a couple pallets today and get started on that. I mean, I have an idea. <laughs> it might work. It might not. I'm not sure. I've got the tools I think I can do it with, and most of the supplies so hopefully hopefully I'll be able to get that done so about the free-ranging thing there is absolutely zero way I can contain these chickens in my yard unless I have a very very tall fence all the way around my entire property and that's just not a feasible thing for me to do so um, I'm just gonna try and put up little things here and there and I maybe just keep it the way that I have it right now so that they are on my property most of the day. They're going to go next door. Um, I don't want them to go across the street to Mr. Lucas. That's just too far, but they may do that. I am going to ask him if he will please shoo them back if he sees them. Um, you know, I'm not sure if he uses pesticides on his lawn or not. I do not, so that's something to consider. But I want to let at least some of the chickens free range, especially the bigger birds, because uh, they eat a lot. The leghorns they are getting their own little home. Now, I'm talking about the three old Leghorns, and I am likely to put the Leghorn rooster in there with them. Um, and not to breed them, <laughs> just to keep them all together. The other white chickens, I'm hoping that they'll be a little bit more chill. I don't know if they will or not. We're just gonna have to wait and see because I'm probably gonna have to separate what I've got now and what may be coming very soon into three separate flocks. So I've got a couple ideas for a couple of coops that I can do and I'm just gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. Anyhow, the first thing I gotta do is get that refrigerator inside. Project number one done. I got it in here, fits perfect. I'm not gonna leave that like that. That's just the propane tank and I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at it. It's gonna be hard to get to that bin. I'd have to pull this thing out. Oh, man, I need to dust and clean. But I need that bin. It's got to be there. So the refrigerator is working great. Hopefully it won't drain too much solar. Um, it will eventually, but at least for the time being, it'll work out just fine. And I've just got a, a stenching cord that's ran underneath of here um, that goes to the solar inside. All right. Yep. I got to figure out what to do about that little curtain thing because that's ugly. While I'm inside, I want to show you a couple packages that arrived yesterday. <laughs> I opened them both because I thought they may be things that I had ordered myself. Well, one of them I knew because it came to my mailbox, but I want to show you what they are. This first one came from Amazon. I did not have this on my wish, wish list, but look at this. Organic, organic harvest fish fertilizer. Look, somebody sent me fish fertilizer and I know that stuff is great. There's no note. I have absolutely zero idea who sent me this? So, whoops. <laughs> if you uh, if you sent this, please let me know. I think that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna give it a try. I bet you it's gonna be great. The next thing came from some friends of my parents. It's the couple that they lived next to when they lived in Tennessee, out on the lake. And she sent me this. Look at this. You know what this is? This is like a windbreaker slash raincoat thingy you guys know i need that because it rains so much out here this is absolutely wonderful and it's lightweight i love it thank you ann her name is ann too she's awesome and she wrote me this wonderful note oh it was so sweet i'm not going to read it all to you right now but i had sent some a dozen eggs i don't know this camera's probably all over the place 
I had sent a dozen, a dozen eggs with my parents, you know, to give to them, and they ate them for breakfast, and they said they were delicious. So thank you so much for this, Ann. I love it. I'm going to get plenty of use out of it. I got six eggs today, so you know what that means? That means Miss Pris Pants Pants laid me another egg, and the reason why I know is because I took her off the nest, and there was one extra egg, so I pulled it out. I made some scrambled eggs for her, just put it in there. She's been nibbling a little bit. I need to remember to bring her some grit, but anyhow, I had two eggs laid back here, and then the others were laid in here, so I guess they're getting used to it. Here's the beginning. Can you tell what I'm going to do? Yeah, that center brock is broken. That's okay. I just need it to be pretty stable, pretty up off the ground. <sighs> this is going to be so much work. The baby chicks got some scrambled eggs too. All the other big ones are out free ranging, so I decided to give these guys a treat. Girls. Guys and girls. I got the first one in place all by myself. Yay, go me. You want to know how I did it? Okay, this is not going to be graceful. <laughs> straighten up these little center blocks eventually but the next thing I need to do is find a way to join these two together just to make it more stable I just went into town got some ice taking a little beverage break and I have to tell you something funny while I'm on my break Tyson not once but twice has tried to mate with the other little baby chicks he does the little rooster thing and holds on to their comb and of course they squacked but I can't believe he's already doing that. Well, this is what I had to do. All I really needed was some straight brackets, but I use those for the solar panels. The lovely Miss Donna B gave me these. So I've just put them in. You know what? They, they hold pretty well. Um, very solid. I wish I had done it on the other side too. Maybe I'll do that at some point. But I just work with what I had. And it does join them together solidly. So yay. All right. Now for the floor. There's the floor. Yep, I screwed them in. I used two smaller nails or screws at first, so I got some bigger ones and they worked. Anyhow, this is a piece of the wood paneling that was delivered that was marred on the other side. Um, I mean, I could have used it for trim and stuff. I've got a lot of these pieces left, quite a bit of these panels left. So I chose one that was really damaged on the other side. And I didn't turn it over just because it's like a got a papery thing and it's kind of smooth and slick. Um, so this is kind of smooth too. But I'm going to put bedding down. And um, I don't know, I may put something down that is like a non-slip sort of a thing. You let me know what, I th what you think. All I know is it is steaming hot. You can see my sweat drops all over this. Uh, so the floor's in, and now I just have to put the, the rest of it on. But that's going to have to wait for another video because I'm exhausted. And this is all I can do today. So have you figured out what I'm going to do yet? Have you? <laughs> if you think you know what I'm going to do, leave a comment and tell me what I'm going to do. Um... It's not a permanent solution, what I'm going to do next. It's just temporary, but I think it'll work for a little while at least to separate the leghorns because, like I said, they're evil. It would actually be pretty cool if this thing works out because I may do it again for another little chicken run area. And yes, I am going to section off the yard and give them enough room for leghorns at any rate and um, make sure they have a dust bath. I'll probably pull the big dust bath out of there and give it to the the big flock and get them something smaller in there and then put some bedding down and call it a day anyhow that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.